What's going on everyone, Healy here, and today I'm gonna be doing a showdown for this video. So, people that are brand new to MLB The Show and Diamond Dynasty Showdown's a fun way to play and earn some of the best rewards in the game. It's a little bit difficult though. So we're gonna go through this one together in a video and I'm gonna go through my thought process of why I'm making decisions uh, for different drafts and for different moments. From the main Diamond Dynasty screen, you hit R1 or RB, depending on what console you're on, you go over to single player modes, and then there is showdown right there in the middle. To start off for the year, we have a starter one, and then we have the team affinity season one. Starter one, super easy to do. It's basically gonna run you through showdown and tell you how to play the game. Uh, basically what this video is doing right here, but on the game. We are going to be playing the Team Affinity Season 1, though. As you can see, there's all these different missions. One's red, you got a couple blue ones, and then you got another red one. I'll go over those when we get to them. 500 stub entry fee to, to play this. Before I start up the showdown, what you get is here in the Programs tab. You go over to the Program, go over to Team Affinity, and then let's just select a random division here at the bottom there is an exchange and then at the bottom of the exchange tab there's the showdown vouchers so you get the vouchers from playing showdown and you're able to throw them in here to get some of these awesome rewards and players we are going to enter here 500 stubs yes a welcome to the draft i will skip this for now i know how to play so first batter, pretty big. Trent Grisham, he could get everything in the outfield for you. We are going to go with Anthony Santander. Power is key. Santander is 79 and 89. He's a switch hitter as well. Best option here for myself. The next guy, oh, we can go with the Franimal. We could go with Cattell Marte, Max Muncy. We are going to go, we've drafted a switch hitter already max muncie we'll keep max muncie there we need to select a pitcher i want to use six though Ooh, do we go castillo castillo is the best hits in k's per nine that's how you're going to strike people out and not a lot of hits a lot of hits against the computer so as much as i want to use six though we are going to go with luis castillo because of his attributes we have a gold player around i would stay away from drafting pitchers i really would unless like maybe a reliever round pops in but you are gonna want the bats it was 80 and 78 oh wilson ramos against the lefties destroys i don't know how many lefties we're gonna face so i'm gonna select cliff floyd so we got guys like pete marcelo zuna right here I'm actually going to go with Pete Alonso. We drafted Muncy. He can play second base for us. Here's the close around. We're just going to find the guys with the best per nines, and that is going to be Craig Kimbrell. Doesn't have the best or walks per nine. His control's a little weak. So if you're an okay pitcher, we're in a low difficulty. It's not going to matter too much. I'm going Craig Kimbrell. Silver round. You get Nico for second. We're already using Max Muncy at second, though. Power, Nunez is decent. He has third base and first base. Aaron Hicks for center field. He's a switch hitter with 76 and 71 power. That's who we're going to go with for now. We're going to go with Aaron Hicks here. Bronze card, Tim LaCastro. Uh, we, we'll draft Tim just for the bench. We're going to probably replace him later. We'll have him off the bench. Rugned. We, we still kind of need a catcher. We could wait, though. We're going to go with Rugnet Odor. So, right now, Max Muncy's going to play third base for us. Now, here's a big part of Showdown. These boosts that you draft right here, it's a little too bright for my eyes right now. But this will help you out in the gameplay. I would stay away from drafting any of the pitcher ones. There's not a lot of pitching moments. And the last mission of a Showdown is hitting we're not going to go with that significant drag bunt boots we are going to stay away from that hitch accuracy opponents make weak contact hitch accuracy with runners in scoring position drag bunt 
Yeah, we'll throw on bun cheese. Exit velocity on boost while losing and with two outs. We'll do this one. We'll do rally time. That could help us out later. Exit velocity boost with zero outs. Inner piece down the middle. Contact boots on 0 0 0 1 1 and 2 2 counts. Inside pitches when runners are on. We're going to go inner piece right down the middle. That's what we're looking for in this. We have our first moment. So tally one strikeout in one inning with my showdown starting pitcher. So this is going to be Luis Castillo. You got to make sure after the draft, you go to manage perks and equip all these. Otherwise, they aren't going to do anything. So we are going to go to manage squad. This first one's a pitching one. So we have Luis Castillo there. We are set. And then the bottom left portion of the screen, it says final showdown. 15 outs remain. It's 0 to 12. You're on the left side. I don't know why it shows the Reds logo, but you're on the left side. You have zero runs. This final showdown is this flaming one all the way at the end. So right now, if you skip right to the end, you're going to be playing on the final showdown and you're down 12 runs. Now, how do you get more? You play these missions. This first one we're doing can get us two final showdown runs. It also get us a gold live series player and a gold perk. So that's what we're going into right now and hoping we can get a strikeout. Perfect. There we go. And now with two strikes on Kyle Lewis, we could go for the dot right here. 90%. We missed. We walked him. It's all right. There we got Tom Murphy. He's seven. There's a strike. We're going to go circle change right here. We missed the left a little bit. That's okay. Hey. I don't have to get any outs right now. This is pretty bad. I probably should have struck out the first batter. But there's no there's no failing point on this. I can allow as many runs as possible. I just need to get a strikeout before I get three outs. I control when I get those outs. There's a strikeout number two. And now circle change all the way on the right side. And we strike out Kyle Seeger. So we're done. We have completed this. We've earned two runs towards the final showdown. So we get a gold player. Ooh. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Stanton or JD Martinez. I'm going to go Stanton just because he has a little more power. All right, another one right here. Jump start. This is a very good one. Contact boost on the first two pitches of that AB. If you're impatient like me on these, got to go with that. We got to go to manage perks. We are going to swap out. Swap out bunchies. I'm not bunting right now. I did. So we have Pete there. We're going to move Muncie over to third. Miguel Sano is cool. He's a great player to have on this. He hits well against righties. We can use him as a pinch hit bat. We use uh, Pete Alonso at first. We're gonna throw Santander in center, Stanton in right, and then we'll put Hicks on our bench. Chris Davis off the bench as well. Yo, Chris Davis. He's 87 and 85 power. It looks weird as a ranger. The lineup construction, I'd probably recommend just putting your best hitters up top. We're going to throw Pete up here. We're going to throw Stanton up there. Muncie is we'll bat fourth. Actually, we're going to have Muncie bat third. Pete Alonzo fourth. The next moment, Kelly two hits without giving up two hits in two innings. Okay. So this will get us two final showdown runs again, a gold live series player and a gold perk. We have two of the 12 we need for the final moment. Hopping right into it. So two hits. You also get a contact boost the first two pitches of the AB. Just early on it. Giancarlo. So decent hit right there. Decent contact. Giancarlo. That ball is crushed. It's not getting caught. So there's hit number one. And that ball's up the middle. We beat the shift. And we have officially completed this moment. So we have a draft. If you guys don't know, like, who you need to draft, you can always just... Oh, I guess you can't look at your lineup. 
but we will resume the draft. Aloy, he is sick. We have Rafael Devers who could play third base for us. That's what we're going to do. We're going to have Devers at third. Ooh, we could throw Trey at shortstop. Yeah, we're going to throw Trey at short. Devers is sick. He's a great hitter in the game. Uh, we just we just don't really have a shortstop at the moment. Down but not out. Eggs of velocity boost and two strike counts. This is huge. Oh, first two pitches. Yo, what one do we want? First two pitches or two strikes. Let's go two pitches. So now our perks, we have contact on the first two pitches. And then we have exit velocity on the first two pitches. We are going to swap out. Good run right there. I forgot. Tim LeCastro isn't supposed to be there. We have Rugnet Odor, who against righties is actually down today. So I kind of am mad that we got him, but it's okay. He's at the bottom portion of the lineup. Our next moment, two hits in two innings without giving up a run. So similar moment but a different way to fail. Contact boost and exit velocity boost. There's one. Muncy. I, I wasn't really even on that on the PCI, but the boost helped us out a ton. And Muncy ended it yet again. I think Santander and Muncy have completed both the hits missions for us. We have two more runs added. We're halfway there to the total. We've earned additional items. We have a live series player. We have Suarez. Suarez could play shortstop for us. Castellanos would be sick. What we are going to do right here, we are going to draft Eugenio Suarez. He does, since he has that shortstop secondary. The perks for this round. So we could upgrade inner piece if needed. Contact boost while behind in the count. We could do that. Make weaker contact. We're going to do behind in the count, especially if you like swinging first pitch, second pitch, you're going to be behind. We have three gold perks now. That's great. We're going to move Turner to second and change out Odor for Suarez. We are up to our first boss. If you lose this, you fail the entire showdown. You have to restart. We're halfway there to the end. And this is a point where you have to decide, am I good enough where I can just score seven runs with 15 outs and end this? Or do you think that you can get in here? This is a two run deficit with 10 outs and you're playing on rookie difficulty. So it shouldn't be too bad. You're going up against Shane Green, misspelled green, but it's okay. You do win this though. You do get a 42 series hitter and a diamond perk. No runs though towards the end. We're going to go into this though, see what Shane Green has to offer. And you start off with a runner on second base. So it's not even that bad. You hit a home run to begin with. All you need to do is score one then. Man, that first pitch should have been crushed. There we go. We get a base hit, 59 speed. We are going to just hold up. 10 outs to work with. Don't necessarily need to score that run to start off. Max Muncy. Oh, no. Not going to be a double play, though. We do score a run. Pine run in scoring position. He, he perfect, perfect that one. It's not getting caught, and Pete Alonzo wins it. And we've beat Shane Green. I guess we walked it off in Detroit. No runs added, as I stated before. We've earned a player, though. Nico Goodrum. Andrew McCutcheon, this card does some damage. Dom Smith. Oh, man. I don't know who. I'm just going to go with Kyle Lewis. I want to really try out this Lewis card. Nico Goodrum, solid. He can play anywhere. Dom Smith hits. Andrew McCutcheon hits. You mainly, you just mainly want hitters in this. We're going to go Lewis, though, for the power. And then the diamond one. Exit velocity boost on normal swings. Is this new? I think last year it was only like the first two pitches or something. This normal swing is X or A, depending on what console you're on. We are doing this, no doubt. This was my favorite perk last year. We're doing it again. 
jump start we're gonna go we're gonna replace the the behind in the count manage squad i will move santander to uh right we'll have stanton in center we're gonna have floyd on the bench now for robbie grossman and then center field is gonna be kyle lewis our next moment do not allow any hits in one inning with my showdown squad using my starting pitcher you get two runs for doing this so we will we will get into this one see how hard it is one of the guys we have to play against is animal but we do have a right-handed pitcher and he has 75 contact versus righties and we allow a hit so we do fail this of course i got two strikes on fran mil reyes all that hype i just talked went against me we lose that it's fine we're allowed to lose these i can lose every one from here on out if i i really want to we don't get that gold live series player we don't get the diamond per we'll just move on to the next one four base or four total bases without giving up two runs in two innings so a total base for people that are new to baseball is how many bases you get on a hit. Walking doesn't count as a base. An error doesn't count as a base. Hit by pitch doesn't count as a base. So pretty much could end this with a home run to start off with. We could get four singles. We could get two doubles. We could get a triple and a single. Whatever combo you need to get there. And Kyle Lewis! He gets all of that one, and Lewis does it for us right away. So we're done. We got the four bases on the first batter. These loading screens are awesome. We're in and out with ease. Shout out to the next gen stuff. Two runs added. Another hitter added. Now we're only down four runs entering the final showdown at this point. We can go Key Brian Hayes. We can upgrade our Stanton. We go Swanson or Marte. Right now, we're just going to upgrade the Stanton. You cannot use two of the same player. So just know that now. We're going to draft Stanton. We have a diamond perk now. Contact with two strikes. Inside pitches while losing. We are guaranteed to be losing going into the final showdown right now. That I'm going to do this. We're going we're gonna to throw on heart attack right away. Really is 99 and 101 power. We are going to replace him, though, and his other card. We're going to lose out on some pop, but we get five plus fives to everywhere else. Maybe we should have went with someone else. It's okay. We'll be fine. So the last one, two total bases without giving up one hit in two innings. We're not going to be losing, so that's why I did not equip the perk right now. We will equip that perk before the final showdown. That pitch could have been hit as well. We're all good though. And he pitched close. That ball's crushed. That was a normal swing. It wasn't even that good of PCI contact. And that ball flew to the wall. That diamond perk I got really made that happen. And we got a double, so we're done with this. Not the best hit. <laughs> but we got out of it thanks to the perks. We get two more runs towards the final showdown. We get another 42 player. We get another diamond perk. Oh, Bichette. Get at him. Get at Keston Hira. So the final showdown, it is unlocked. We're going up against Luis Castillo. Why did I make that note? Because I, I was looking at Keston. Keston does not hit well against lefties. And we know we're facing a right-handed pitcher now. Now I could go with Salvador Perez. I need a catcher, 73 overall catcher. Well, I'm going to go with Keston, and I'll explain why. Diamond perk, exit velocity and two strike counts. That could be big. Exit velocity boost with no runners on. We're going to have some significant contact and velocity after your third consecutive hit. We're going to go two strike counts right here. Perks, losing. We're going to be losing. And then the final one with two strikes, we are going to put that one on. So our exit velocity shouldn't even be a problem. Now we have second base. We have Keston Hira. We're going to toss him in there. Why do I have Trey Turner at catcher? Because in the showdown, you aren't fielding at all. 
you have 15 outs. Once all the outs run out, then you lose. So every position just needs to be filled with your best hitters. We're going to get to the pitcher spot at some point, and I'm going to have to throw someone in. It might be Cliff Floyd. Most likely will be Cliff Floyd. We have Tim LaCastro for if we need the winning run to be scored. We're going to move up era in the order casting heroes just we'll throw them in the five spot but we have a bunch of batters that just dominate against right-handed pitching on the left side of the screen for the final showdown it showed the reds logo like i said i'm not sure why the reds logo isn't on the right side but that indicated who we were facing the luis castillo he pitches for the reds he showed up there the, if it's another team logo like the marlins then it'd be sixto sanchez if it's like the a's then it'd be jesus lozardo and you'd know what handness the pitcher was down two runs 15 outs to work with final showdown no runners are on kyle lewis baby every runner matters so if you aren't the best hitter in this game, I'd recommend just taking until you get two strikes. Tire out Luis Castillo. He's going to throw a lot of balls. Just, and if you have him throw enough pitches, he's just going to be wild and you're going to be able to crush off of him. Two strikes now. And Kyle Lewis, we had two strikes, which increased our exit velocity. And we had the exit velocity boost by pressing X. That ball was crushed. 97, 367. It was a no doubter with ease. I didn't even think I was that good. We, we Our timing was just okay as well. And it just went flying. This is another ball that's flying. Caught though. Okay. A little unfortunate there. Down to 14 outs. But we're only down one run now. Max Muncy, the no doubter. That pitch was thrown right down the middle. And the ball game's tied. Now we just need to score one run with 13 outs remaining. Pete Alonso, he's going to end up being on first base. I do have Tim LaCastro if I need to. I do have Tim LaCastro if we need a pinch run for him if he gets on second. I'm not going to bring him in now because of a double play opportunity and it would just be a waste. I want him to be in scoring position first. And that is why we did not bring in Tim LaCastro. I'm cutting this close. I am being pretty bad right now. I've gotten two runs once through the order. As Kyle Lewis ends it, that bat flip was sick. He has one of the best bat flips I've seen in the game so far. <laughs> Yo, that is awesome. This Kyle Lewis card kind of nutty in showdown. Oh, it's crushed. Show me the no doubter. Oh, he just drops the bat. He's so cool. Completing the showdown, we got our rewards. It's our vouchers for the team affinity season one. We successfully went through all of it. We got some stubs along the way. I forgot to count how many stubs you got, but we made our money back. So that's good. I think you only have to play a couple of them to earn your money back. Regardless, we're going to go over to the programs, go to, over to team affinity, go over to the AL West. I want either that Kyle Lewis or Joey Gallo. That's why we're over here. Showdown voucher. We have five of them. Unfortunately, you can only exchange one at a time. It's just how the system works. The final voucher being submitted. There we go. Up to 15. We're at 15 plus right now. I don't know how I got the other stuff. Have the AL uniform. We have the Ale West uniform pack, though, so that's cool. We get to select one of these home unis. Might go with the Oakland A's one. I do like that. We get some of these bronze and silver players. The lockables and then a stadiums pack for now. And that's a showdown. Do those multiple times. You're able to get 
those cool 88 overall 42 series players i think you have to do 10 you have to do 10 showdowns per division so 60 showdowns total you want to only do the showdowns so you can do that there's other ways to earn points though don't worry about that if this video helped you out with the showdown make sure you click that thumbs up button best way to show support hit that subscription button if you're new and enjoy the content there's gonna be two videos on the screen right now one of them my most recent video the other one's a random one check them out if you have not already the ceiling i'm out peace